Hello everyone and welcome back to Revs and Reviews. Today I have a 2024 Ford Edge. This one is not the ST or the ST line. This one actually has no badges besides the all-wheel drive. If you guessed it, this one is the SE black appearance package, which gives you a couple more features. You're going to get black rims with the blacked out front grille and the blacked out Ford uh, logo. You're also going to get blacked out badges all the way around the vehicle. I kind of wish the edge badge was a little bit blacked out, but that's all right. Now, this one is in this beautiful gray color, similar to the Ford Explorer I had reviewed. This one does get around 21 in the city and 28 on the highway. And this one is priced just under $41,000. Now, the, the reason why this one is priced just under $41,000 is because this has the black this one has the black appearance package. Let's take a look under the hood and see what the Ford Edge brings to the table. Under the hood is the 2024 Ford Edge SE black appearance. You are gonna get 250 horsepower with the 2.0 liter engine and you get 280 pound feet of torque. This one can also tow, I believe around a couple thousand pounds. I'll put the exact number up here, but overall 250 horsepower and 280 pound feet of torque and just around 21 in the city and 24 on the highway. Now, as you can see on the back here, you're gonna get that black piece right here on the regular edge that is chrome. And then of course, you're gonna get the blacked out edge badge and your all wheel drive badge, as well as a new type of bumper down here with the reflectors that is a part of the black appearance package. And then of course, you're gonna get keyless entry on the driver and passenger door. And then just your standard black wheels. They're not as sporty as let's just say this Ford Edge over here with those bigger, bigger black wheels. Now this one does not have the fog light package like this one. This one is just a black piece down there and that's how you know it's the SE black appearance package, but still for just under $41,000, it is still a great looking SUV. I also like how there's no hood strut either. And you just close it up just like that. Now let's take a look inside and see what Ford brings to the table. But first, I wanted to point out all the black accenting. You're gonna get a black mirror cap, and of course I love those wheels, and a dark gray and a light gray stripe going around the vehicle. Now let's hop inside. Inside of the Ford Edge, you're gonna get a leather door panel with that silver door handle with this grayish material around this little speaker with the unlock and lock buttons. You're gonna have your mirror controls. They're not power folding mirrors. You're gonna have a little grab handle right here with your four window controls. Plain black leather, no stitching or anything. Down here, you're gonna get a great aud sounding audio system. Not enough room for a Stanley cup in this cup holder, but maybe a few water bottles. Now the interior is where things get a little special. Here on the seats, you are gonna get the regular cl black cloth on the gray cloth seats with this little texture that goes all the way down. There are manual seats for the driver and passenger. And now let's hop into the technology features and see what Ford brings to the table. Here on the inside of the Ford Edge, you're just gonna get the plain plastic black around the dash here, silver accents around your vent here, and the typical Ford fashion headlight knob with your adapt, um, with your brightness of your screens, of course. And then typical Ford fashion since the older Ford Edges, the Ford Fusion, and I believe the Ford Taurus. You're even gonna get the same turn signal sound. You're gonna get the same dash here that is fully customizable with tire pressure. You're gonna get the sport mode, of course. And then of course you can just scroll down to see how many miles left you got. And then I, did, I like to leave it on the speed. And then on this one over here, you can customize this one too which is a little bit different. You can connect your phone and put entertainment on here and then AM, FM, Sirius XM, all that. And you do not get lane keeping assist or um, anything like that, but you do get front AAB as well as rear AAB. And then of course you have your different, um, oh, I am sorry, you do get lane keeping assist. I'm used to it being down here. Lane keeping assist is right here next to your turn signal button and you can leave that on or off. Now front AB as well as rear AB, this one in particular does not have the sunroof package, but you can get a sunroof. Now all Ford Edges, no matter what trim they are, you are gonna get this beautiful big screen that is like an iPad, most people call it. There is no heads up display in this one, but on the more upgraded versions, you will get a heads up display. Now similar to the Ford Explorer, you're gonna get that, I believe 15 inch screen, I believe, 
Now you're gonna get standard Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and then I'll show you your backup camera here. I like how you have the parking sensors as well as rear AB as well as front AB. A nice view of the camera, which is nice. And then of course you can zoom in or zoom out. And to put it into sport mode, switch to drive and select sport. And as you can see, when I switch back to drive, it'll just go back to that normal type of selector. Now I am going to put it back in park here. And then with the new Ford screens, you're gonna have the ability to play games. You're gonna have the ability to draw on here. So I'm gonna put, ooh, we're gonna draw on here, please. Subscribe. Okay, that was kind of hard to draw because the car is still warming up. Now we can go back home here. You got radio, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, all standard with all the trims. The SE is your standard base model trim, but this one does have the black appearance package. Now, similar to, similar to the older Ford Edges, this one just has the bigger screen, but you still get the same vent style engine stop start button there. And then of course, down here, you have your volume knob and then your camera button and then your hazard button and then your tuning button. And then when we press off of the camera here, you're gonna get your climate control down here. No heated or ventilated seats, even though this one is priced at $41,000, it's still a base model. So you're not gonna get that high class luxury of having heated and ventilated seats. Now, of course, it's a similar Ford fashion, a great sounding audio system. You can connect your phone, Apple CarPlay, all that. I cannot share the audio system here on YouTube because I will get copyrighted, which is unfortunate. Down here, you are not going to get a wireless charging pad, but in the upgraded models, you will get an upgraded charging pad down here, as well as a USB-C and a USB port. And then no different drive modes at all. You have auto, um, hold, your drive mode selector should be right there, and then you have your parking brake, of course. Then your gear selector, and the only other drive mode you get is that sport mode. And I really do like the rotary dial they use here in the Ford Edge. Now... Since this is a basic model, the interior part is going to be a little bit shorter, but overall I really do like the interior, and I do think the interior is really nice considering this is your base model trim. Now let's hop into the back seats and see what's shaking in the back seats. Here at the rear door panel, you're going to get a black leather door panel with that same silver plated door handle with that gray around the door um, handle here. You're going to get the leather here with your uh, window button. A pretty small cup holder down there. Obviously, you're not going to be able to put a Stanley cup in there. Back here, that same cloth seat design with the black on gray. And then, of course, you're going to get just your standard floor mats. And now we will hop inside with my driving position and see if a six foot tall person can sit in the back of the Ford Edge. Here in the back of the Ford Edge, this is my driving position. And as you can see, I have a little bit more leg room than the Ford Escape. You get a pocket on this side with rear AC and two USB-Cs, as well as a little pocket right there and a little pocket over here. Now back here, I will have to say those seats are very comfortable. I really do like the cloth seats. I would prefer leather and maybe a sunroof for $41,000, but overall a very comfortable and spacious back seat. Now let's see how much junk we can fit in the trunk. Back of the Ford Edge, I did want to go over the key fob here. It is just your standard Ford key fob with lock and unlock and that panic button. We'll be lucky that we do get the push button start, which is nice, but no remote start. I also really do like how you do have the LED um, turn signals back here. And I really do like that big black um, badge right here, the Ford badge and the Edge badge. And I really like the black bar that fades in with the window. Now for $41,000, you are not gonna get a power lift gate. It is a manual lift gate, which is kind of disappointing. Now back here, you're gonna get the all weather floor mat package that comes included. You're gonna get a little pocket over here, maybe for a gallon of milk or maybe a gallon of milk over here. Some little compartments over there with the lights. And then you have the ability to put a shade back here. And overall, a little bit more cargo room than the Ford Escape. And when you fold the seats down, you're going to get even more room, which I do like. And overall, I drove it over here and it was really smooth. And there is a ton of space in this vehicle. And like I said, no power lift gate. But overall, I really do like how spacious the trunk is and that black appearance package design. Now for just under $41,000, I would have liked to see maybe a sunroof, maybe leather seats, possibly a power lift gate, maybe fog lights down there. I feel like for $41,000, I should get the same front bumper as this one, 
but you obviously do get a different grill and you can tell that this is the base model of black appearance package let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and this was a short review but let me know what you guys think and a huge thank you to Gordy Boucher Ford Lincoln of West Bend, Wisconsin for letting me come out and review this beautiful Ford Edge. Have a great night, everyone.